Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Halloween. Welcome to yet another video. Hopefully you guys didn't overload on candy too much. As for myself, me and the fiance went out to the movies tonight and went and saw Halloween. Pretty good. Uh, pretty cliche though. Um, but nonetheless, that's kind of what you get with most, you know, scary movies. So anyways, what I wanted to do today was to talk a little bit more about YouTube ads and how to position your YouTube ads um, and why you should really do YouTube ads. Um, and the reason being because, number one, you're going to grow your channel a lot faster. And number two, you can use retargeting with YouTube ads to really speed up your rate of success and uh, pay a lot lower per lead and per click and overall make a lot more money. So with that said, if you're excited for this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, you know, like this video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button and then ticking the bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. Because if you just click the subscribe button, it's not guaranteed that you're going to be notified of all the videos that I upload. So be sure to do that because I'm uploading videos pretty frequently right now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this. Specifically, I'm gonna be talking about in-display ads and uh, search ads specifically. So there's a few types of ads, and I've said this in past videos, but let me just reiterate this real quickly. You have ads that show at the top of the search results like this ad right here, and then you have ads that show before actual video. So if I was to click on this ad and if ODI Productions was set up for monetization, typically an ad would play before uh, his video would play. And so you got to think about the consumer. What sort of mindset is the consumer in when they're searching for a keyword, for a certain you know, uh, search phrase in other words, when they're looking to solve a specific problem? And then what type of mind frame are they in when they actually click on one of the videos, right? And so when it comes to these types of ads, I like these types of ads because they're you know, in the beginning of their search versus doing like an in-stream ad when they've already clicked a video. They're kind of in the middle of their search and so you really have to catch attention and you really have to engage them so they watch your whole entire ad. So in this specific video, we're gonna be talking about in display search ads right here and not uh, true video ads or in stream ads, just to make it clear. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm actually creating videos around specific keyword phrases within my niche. So I teach affiliate marketers how to become better affiliate marketers and increase their income and get over hurdles and roadblocks when it comes to you know making money online within this specific niche. What I notice most people doing that are actually doing ads the wrong way is they're just placing ads on random keywords. What do I mean by this? Well, there's affiliate marketing for beginners, which is what I typed in, and what you want as, you know, from an ad standpoint to increase your click-through rate is you want your ad, the title to say affiliate marketing for beginners. Here, this one just says how I make money online. This is Kayala Kanai of uh, Project AWOL. And he's had this ad around for quite some time. So does this ad work? Yes. And the reason why he's doing it this way is so he can create one single piece of content and you know gain impressions for multiple thousands of different keywords. So he's not having to go out and create a separate video for affiliate marketing for beginners and then how to make money online and then how to start an online business and you know, ClickBank marketing videos and so on and so forth. So he's created this sort of one size fits all video. Now he's not going to get as many click throughs, but he's still going to get quite a few views. So you really have to pick and choose you know, your battle. What I like about the way that I do it, so just to kind of show you guys, um, please do not go to YouTube and type affiliate marketing for beginners. I know there's people that are gonna do this anyways, so I'm putting my faith in you guys. I'm not gonna show these types of videos 
if you guys just go and type these keywords in and then start clicking on my ads. So please do not do that. If I notice that, I'm going to stop creating videos like this. So I wanna do my best to give you guys value and give you guys live case studies. So you can actually see that the keyword, that the, the, the consumer would be typing in or the searcher would be typing in is the same title that I have right here. So it's very congruent. So people are more likely to click this video than just to skip down to this video like they would here, right? And so also you're able to kill two birds with one stone because now I'm since I'm paying for views, you can see that this says ad right here. So I'm using Google ads to obviously pay Google to rank at the top. And what'll happen over time is Google will actually start to reward you. And Google will start to rank you higher in the search engines for paying uh, for ad space, right? And so Google obviously is a for-profit company. And if you just create a bunch of videos and stay at the top of the search engines long-term, which is actually quite difficult to do. I mean, there are niches out there that are a lot easier, but the reason they don't make it easier for you to keep your rankings once you have rankings is because they want you to pay for you know ads. So they want to improve the user experience, but they also want the content to creator to pay for ad space. And this is another reason why they constantly have changed their algorithm is so you know uh, creators like myself have to post more to gain more views. So when you can't beat them, right, you join them, which is perfectly fine, especially if you wanna scale. So what you can do is you can create a lot less content and you can scale a lot higher because you're paying to be ranked at the top versus having to slowly build your channel up over time and then eventually you know, have kind of authority in your channel, be able to rank a lot easier. So this helps you sort of shortcut your success when it comes to getting subscribers, when it comes to you know, getting views and getting leads and sales inside of your business. And also I wanna add, just because you have a lot of subscribers doesn't mean those subscribers are actually going to see your videos, okay? Now, I mentioned in the beginning of this video to tick the bell icon to be notified of all future videos that I upload when I upload them. Now, I'm still, you're still not guaranteed to receive all notifications because the way that the algorithm works now is if you're watching a lot of videos, say on like Star Wars, then you're gonna be notified of other Star Wars videos versus like affiliate marketing videos. So if you're out there watching other affiliate marketing videos and consuming a lot of that content right now on YouTube, then YouTube's gonna show you more of my content since you're also subscribed to my channel too, if that makes sense. So a lot of people are trying to get subscribers because they think that, okay, if I have 100,000 subscribers, for example, like I'm an authority and that means I'm making a lot of money, it doesn't mean anything anymore. The goal of YouTube is to keep people on their platform. So even though you might be subscribed to somebody about, um, for example, baking, but yet you're watching a bunch of Star Wars videos, you're going to see more Star Wars videos than baking videos, if that makes sense. So even if I go to like my YouTube homepage over here, I'm in an incognito window so I can get some true results over here as far as rankings and uh, impressions as far as my ads because sometimes just on my regular browser it won't show up here. But if I go to the home page, you can see that these videos are the videos that, that are trending and then you have like recommended videos. And typically all these videos are going to be related to videos that I've been watching in the past, okay? So homepage is a way to get a lot of views. Also the suggested video section, um, which would be, for example, like on this video here on the side here, about 70% of my views come from the suggested video section. So although I can gain a lot of views from the search, most of your views are gonna come from other different sources of YouTube, like the homepage and also the suggested video section. Now. Here's another cool thing. When you know somebody clicks on your video, right? So whether it be this video or this video, I'm gonna use Keala's video for example because he does a good job of what I'm about to show you. 
there are actually three ways that people can go to your website, go to your funnels, go to your offers, whatever it is that you want to promote. Number one, I'm actually just going to pull it up right here. Number one is, Hey guys, what's happening right here. So through Google ads, you can actually set up a little ad that pops up at the beginning of your video right here. Right. And as my video plays this, let me just kind of mute this here. This will actually eventually go away. Can you see that? And then whenever the consumer hovers over this, they're going to see that ad again. So you can tell people to obviously click this, which would be like right here, I believe, right within this video. And then you can also, there's a few other calls to actions that you can have as well. Another one appears at the top right hand corner right here. And I'll do my best to have one pop up right now if I can. And what this does is when somebody hovers over it, then it's also another link to go to my website, right? So that's another way that you can get people to go to your website. The last way is having an actual button on your screen within the last 45 seconds of your video. And you've got to have at least a thousand subscribers and be a part of the YouTube partners program to be able to have this pop up here. So if you want to speed up your rate of you know success and speed up your rate uh, to have the ability to do stuff like this, then paid marketing and YouTube ads uh, is a great way to do that and doing like um, either search ads, like, you know, ads like this, or also doing in-stream ads. Now with in-stream ads though, if you're just asking people to subscribe, yeah, you can get a lot of subscribers that way with in-stream ads. But the thing is, is like I said before, because of the algorithm, not everybody is going to, you know, that subscribed is going to see your, you know, future videos. So I think this is a great way to build a relationship. And then eventually what you can do is, for example, all the people that watch this video, right, that came from my ad here and watch this video, what I can do is I can retarget these people with another ad. And what's cool about this is I pay like, one to two cents per view to retarget versus going on somebody else's random channel and then having like an in-stream ad, um, you're gonna actually pay more for that than taking something like this, an in-display ad, or even putting an ad on your own channel. That Those are a few ways that you can really lower your cost per view and you can you know build more of a relationship with people through retargeting, pay a lot less and just create that bond a lot faster. So I hope that you got some value from this video. If you did comment below, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, show me how to set all this stuff up. And if you wanna learn how to do that, I would highly suggest that you check out my inner circle program. I only open it up once in a while. A lot of you guys have like been clicking the link in the description. Um, and you'll, no, you'll notice that uh, the offer expires. The reason it, it expires is because you have four days to join. If you don't join within those four days um, of viewing the offer, then the offer is off the table. There's no fault scarcity here or anything like that. Every once in a while, I will open it up so you can, again, get access to it, but I only do it from time to time, kind of spontaneously. So right now, it is, in fact, open. Um, if you do get an expired notification, just shoot me a message below. Just let me know real quickly because um, I'm about to refresh it right now so you can, again, get access to it. So, again, it's going to be you're going to be able to get access to it for four days. I would suggest that you, you know, take me up on my offer. If not, that's OK, too. You know, totally up to you. Uh, but nonetheless, I hope you got value from this video. If you did, once again, let me know. Subscribe to this channel and uh like this video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.